Hello, this is Judy. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be working on these cute little Valentine's cards featuring the stamp of the month for January 2023, which is called Frosty Friends. And this is the stamp of the month. And if you get that from me, either purchase it outright for $19.95, place a $50 order and get it for $5. Or if you're a VIP of mine, you'll get it for free with a $50 purchase. So if you purchase this from me, I will send you this layout for free with a $50. And this is one page and this is the other. You get this whole layout except for the base pages. And I do have it cut in half so I can, can mail it more economically. So that's the layout. There is a YouTube video for this. Just look in my videos and you'll see it. It's just uh, probably the last one. If your order totals $100, you will get these cards as well. So you get the layout and the cards. You get two to make this one and two to make this one. And this one has a little pocket in the middle. It's for a candy or a gift card or whatever you want to put in there. It's really cute. I created this on my Cricut. And this card is a fun fold. Isn't he cute? I love the little bear. Now this is a prototype. So what the cards that I make today will be very similar. What you have in the kits are very similar. And you can make them like that. I also have another prototype. And that's this one without the little animal. So it's cute. And this is also using the Now and Forever collection from close to my heart it's a Valentine's collection so let's get going in your kit you receive two of each of these I've only got one here this is the fold-out card so we'll put this first and you'll also receive little pieces of white daisy that are already die cut to the shape of these animals so all you have to do is stamp them and I already have some pre-cut and stamped as you can see, I already have a bear done, and he's got a blue cup, so this will be for my husband. And you also receive the sentiments that are already pre-stamped for you, because, of course, you unless you have this collection, you won't have those sentiments. So you will have this piece, and they have it pre-scored for you, so that is actually going to be folded up. And then each side will fold down on the other score line. And that will create your little mountain valley fold that will allow your little pocket to open and hold something yummy inside. Okay. And this piece, I don't know, I'll be, I'll be able to catch it online. You can see the fold marks in there and on the bottom. Okay. So these again will be mountain and valley folds. So you're just going to fold up. On the next line, you're going to fold down, so it'll be an accordion type fold, and then fold up. And this is going to be where you put your glue or your tape, a very strong tape or very strong glue. I use a liquid glue in my little bottle. So there you go. Now these might touch, might not. My Cricut did a pretty precise job, so you know, it all depends. You never know, right? It was fun creating this. I've been trying to watch more videos on how to do things like that. So it was good. So there's your little pocket. And before we get started any more on this, I want to glue the front piece on. And I ran out of this paper. This is a retired paper. So I may have run out and you may have a different color in your kit from the now and forever. But this will go right on here. And as you can see, mine's a little bit short, so I will put a zip strip at the top just to give it a little enhancement. And this part will go on the front here. And on the inside, to create the backdrop for your pocket, we'll go this piece. We'll go like that. And on the front, this piece, the heart. You have these two pieces and they will be dovetailed and go here with the heart over the top and then you can put whatever you want. I put the little squirrel there with the little sentiment 
and that, that is done. And in your kit, you're gonna get one of these, just one because I unraveled it. And there are so many strings attached to this. I love this. I, I think I got it at Michael's years ago and it comes in a roll and the colors match perfect. So unravel it. And then as you can see, you have all these other strands and three of these is all you really need to create a little closure here with a bow, okay? So this little strand will do all four of these projects, plus you'll have some left over. So I'm going to fast forward through the video and ink all the edges and put it together and then I'll be back. All right, to do my inking and coloring of my squirrel, I brought out the ballerina with a dauber. And for the squirrel, I'm gonna use two tri-blend markers. They are the brown gray blend and the pale pink blend. And let's get going. Let's put it together. So this is going to go on the inside and we'll do the inside first. And I like using this liquid glue. I can just put a very fine line down and that will hold that paper nicely. And if I get too much glue, like I've got a little glob over on this side, I can fold it up carefully so I don't get a bend and just smudge it so that it puts that glue everywhere on those corners and it doesn't look like it's a blob. Put that down. And you can use a bone folder to really get that glue spread around the edges and get it smooth. And this piece, we're going, you could use double-sided tape, but I, this glue is perfectly fine to hold it. So we're gonna put the bottom down first. <clears throat> I should have folded it up before I put the glue on it. And this is perfectly sized to go across the card. 
and it'll still fit in your envelope. And you can put it all the way down. It depends on if you want to put something inside or not. And then you're going to fold these pieces up and put them down. And having the liquid gives you just that little bit of time for wiggle room. So there you go. Let's put the top piece on. Oh, I put the wrong piece in here. This was supposed to be the this piece. Uh, whoops, blooper. No. <laughs> okay, so this piece will go on the top. It's okay. And remember I said I have a zip strip I can put at the top. You could put it all the way up here and that would be fine too. But I have zip strips, so I'm going to pull one out and use it. I have this really pretty. These are all from the Now and Forever collection. So isn't that going to match? And this paper is years old, and it still matches the paper we have now. That is just so nice. One of the nice features that Close to My Heart does. So I'm going to trim this off where it goes. I could get my cutter out and do it, but I know it's right there. And I could ink the edges of this, but because it's quite the busier pattern with the stripes, I think it'll be okay. I probably would if I weren't videoing. Okay, so there's that. It really creates a nice definition line. You could use also, there's nothing in your kit for it. You could also use a piece of cardstock, a white piece even, you could put along there. All right, so. Now, I didn't do this in the prototype, but because I have um, a different saying on the front, let me see where it is. I have it laugh off and love much. And I'm going to put in here love you more because, you know, laugh off and love much. And then on the inside it says love you more because I don't laugh as much. I love more. <laughs> yes, that's what it is. So when they take the candy bar out, they will see. Love you more. All right, so the inside is done. Now let's go to the front, and I got to get another piece of paper out. So hang on just a minute. All right, I had this piece on my table from the kits that I've been making, and this is part of the Now and Forever collection that has lines on the back. So let me see which one I like the best. And this paper is from the Now and Forever collection too. I love this little small, it's like rosebuds floral, and then on the back are the larger flowers. I kind of like this, and this one could be, and then I could use that bigger design with this but that won't match as good see I like that with the red heart better either one okay so we're gonna dovetail this and then I'm gonna have to ink it again should have dovetailed it first that's okay you get to see all the steps here and with using a dauber, there's still lots of ink on my dauber. So not a problem. All right. So we'll see. I think I'll probably use this side. And this is great for journaling, this paper design with the lines. It's like a whole sheet of a uh, balance sheet, I guess is what you would call it. It has some words on the top. And let me just look at it again. I like that. I like that. That's a little bit busier. I like it like that too. I think I'm going to leave it with the words and the small blossoms. Okay. 
next piece. And you could use either side. There's a light side and a dark side to our cardstock. The paper in your kit might be a retired cardstock, so it may not have two colors, but I think most of them have two colors. Now you could pop this up on foam as well. I already have that pocket in there, so if I'm going to mail it, I don't want to put too much dimension, especially if I put candy in there, right? But these will be hand delivered, I'm sure. So there's that one. And here is my sentiment. And you saw that there was a little cutout from, I use scrap paper for these, of course. And there was a little piece I wouldn't have been able to get a nice square cut, so I just went around the swirls, and I thought that came out really nice. Now, where'd my squirrel run off to? There he is. All right, so we're going to cut a little cut out here between his hands, and then he can hold that little sign. Cute. Okay. I'm gonna glue that together. With the liquid glue, it should be. I should be able to flip it and hold it. Hopefully. I'm gonna put him <clears throat> right about there. And a little squirrel. Maybe we'll have to have him down here holding the sign. There we go. I don't want his tail to overlap there in case. Okay, so I get some of my string. I have some that I've already got unraveled. And it depends on how you want to enclose your little card here. I like to put just a loop through and then this through it. And that would make it very easy for the recipient to open, right? Or you can tie a bow. And it just adds a little more decoration. Oops, I forgot some of the strings. Okay. Grab them both. Keep pulling one. Okay, so there we go. And then you can pull it down. It's not secure because the little loop will go over that and then pull it apart. So there we go. Isn't that cute? That's card one. You get two, two, two of these in the kit. Okay, card number two, you will have one of these designs because I ran out of these size papers. So what I did was I made two of the same size and it will fit across here. In this piece, you will either get a small one or you will get a full sheet one, okay? And I think the kit I'm putting together is, we'll see, oh, the full size one, okay. So again, you get all the sentiments, and this is going to go in the back, and we're going to ink all the edges first, and we can do Happy Valentine's Day for this one. So I'm going to cut this apart and put Valentine's Day on the inside and Happy on the outside. You're going to get a little hard. It might be a different color. Two of these strips that will go here. And then this one will go here. And then we're going to stamp a border on this with a little stamp. All right, so first thing you're going to do is create your fun fold. And this is real easy. You're just going to take your top cover and fold it to the edge. And that's all there is to it to create this, this Z fold, as they call it. Burnish it down. And you're going to use this edge to put this piece down. Okay. So let me ink all the edges of my pieces. And then I will be back. Because my bear is already colored. You saw me color the squirrel, so you don't need to see that again. That will be a little bit more time consuming. And I'm going to use Ballerina ink again.
right, I think I got everything ready to go. Hopefully I will put it together correctly this time. So put this piece on here first. Then you can use either side. You can see one side is dark, one side is light. I think I'll go with the light side up. Again, I'm going to just fold to smear. Oh, and I did get a little crease, but I'm okay with it. It's a handmade card after all, right? So that's going to go in the center. This is going to go fold it up. Give that a little crease there. This piece is going to go here. But first we're going to stamp it. And on your stamp set, there's a cute, cute little stamp right here with a little heart. You could do a star or a snowflake. There's a little house too, but we're going to do the, let me see if I can grab it. Oh, it's not on there. Okay. So it's already out on my desk on the e-block. I found it. It had just fallen off of the carrier sheet and was in the stamp set. Make sure that you put them securely on your carrier sheet, right? Okay, now to stamp on this, I'm going to use toffee ink, which is this. You can use any color you want. I just like using it because that's the color of the, um, the sentiment, all right? So if you have a Versa mat here, you can put your paper down. And because I am left hand or right handed, <laughs> I'm going to do it on this side. So I want the heart upside down so that I can see what I'm doing. And I'm going to just start at the bottom. And I'm going to line that up with that line there. So I'm going to skip one and go to that line. I'm going to skip one and go up. I went up a little too high. Okay, so we're going to have to just go by eye now. What's the problem with doing it on video? I can't put my head over the top. And after you do this, you could color it in, you know, create a little design with those hearts, shimmer brush, tri blend marker. But I like it just plain, it just adds a nice border. You know, me and my borders. I love to put borders on everything. All right, so where's the card we're doing? Do, 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 do. Here it is, buried as I was looking for that stamp. So this is going to go here. And again, I will smear the ink or the glue. These two pieces will go right up to the edge here. And I didn't measure these. I just put them, put one down and then line the other one up to it. Because if you use the bear on this, his bottom will cover up the bottom portion of the paper. Right. So this, you want to make sure you really get it close to that edge and make sure that it's right next to it. And this one will go on the brown. You could put a whole piece of paper underneath here. Yeah, that would be another idea because right now when you open it, you're going to see just this one strip like that. But that's okay. I like it like that. So our bear is going to go here like this. And our heart is going to go here. And then we're going to have, I can put a little bit of string there as well. Let's see, I'll use some brown again. And these hearts are from a tag thin cut set from last year. I 
think it might still be available. I had a whole bunch of tags with it and I use them all the time. It's really fabulous thin cut set. Actually, it may be the current one. I'd have to look. But go on the website, look up thin cuts and tags, and you'll find them all there. Okay, so again, we're going to do our bow. This is a little difficult with my fingers. As you can see, I have this on my scissors. These are the regular scissors. They're not the non-stick, the black tip are the non-stick. But I put a piece of string on here so I know these are for cutting material or thread. The non-stick don't quite cut it very well. I don't know why, but these do, and these then I will not use on paper. So that's how I distinguish them to keep them safe. Now to keep my bow from moving I'm going to use some liquid glass and these tips have been discontinued I don't know if we're going to come out with something different or different design but mine is glued together so I will just use this tip and that will secure that from moving and to put it down on my piece well I'm going to let that dry for just a minute because I don't want it to stick here and seal it together if you get my drift. All right, so the bear is gonna go here and the only part we're gonna glue is right here because we want that to open, all right? So let's add a little bit of glue on his leg and on his cup. Now I gotta put the heart down because the heart's gonna slide underneath him. Let's see. glue on them so let's see it's gonna go like that all right I don't want to have any white space left in there it's distracting to your eye to see captured space so that's just a design thing okay so now we can put glue on this part of the heart too because that's gonna be all no that's not I'm gonna glue the other side blooper okay so we're going to put it on this side. That glue will strengthen the heart. <laughs> All right. So we're going to let that dry for just a minute. Okay, wiped it off with a paper towel. Looks like it's, it's not sticky anymore. So I'm going to go ahead and put it down before the other glue dries. And just to be on the safe side, let's go like this. Push, push that down. I know I've got a lot of it over here and not much of it hanging off to the stick. So there we go. He's so cute. I put him down low just so that I was over more. You could put it up higher. It's up to you. All right, so Valentine's Day is going to go in here underneath the bear so that he hides it. Hopefully I can get this part correct. Yep, okay. And then you also have room for your sentiment or personalized writing. And now I have to find my happy. You know, all I have to do is turn off the recording and I find it. So we're going to put him here. And I'm going to tuck him right up against the bear. And because I have that so securely glued, it's not going to. So I'm just going to cut that off. So let's 
let's see. I actually have to cut it right along him. So that way it'll look like it's going to tuck underneath. Let me see if I can lift any of that up. Oh, yes. Okay. I don't want to slide it under too far and you won't be able to see the happy. Here we go. There. I thought we were going to have another blooper. Okay. So there it is. So that's your second card. So cute. You know, I'm going to put a little bit of unstick on here. Okay, I'm going to use my anti-static bag just to add a little residue there to make sure that any of that glue that might be there will not be sticky. Alright, that looks better. So there we go. Alright, so I hope you enjoyed these. If you have any questions, let me know. Please like this video if you haven't already. Subscribe, hit the notification bell so you know when I post new videos. And um, if you have any questions about ordering the stamp of the month this month, let me know. Thank you. Have a wonderful day.